So as you probably know by now, and if you've been living on a rock, uh, congratulations, I'm here to inform you, Call of Duty Vanguard sucks. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! So, I'm here to play the first Call of Duty I ever played. A good one. A great one. You could say it was their finest hour. Oh god, this this intro, man, it hits me. This is like a Sabaton song short from perfection. Actually, wait a minute. Okay, let's get into the single player now, huh? Not one step back. Well, did I know that young Derek would be enamored with this setting and this level? And years later, his favorite faction would be the Guardsmen. Europe, 1940. Hitler's ruthless quest to extend Germany's is, borders. Is that the Allstate guy? The Why is he in everything I ever encounter? Him and Warburton. My name is Alexander Sokolov. I thought I was safe. As a watchmaker's apprentice, I would learn the business, then open a shop of my own. Maybe get married, have children, start a life. But now, our cities are under attack, and Stalingrad will put an end to those dreams. We should have known the Germans would turn on us, break the treaty. They have no honor. The commissars rounded us up so quickly, speaking of the motherland, the sacrifice of our brothers, our duty. I'm only 20, but I'm ready to fight to the death. The sight of my home Stalingrad infuriates me. It is as if hell itself were burning. Ooh, Welcome oh, that face did not age well. You're about to begin the greatest moment of your life. The Germans have lost hundreds of tanks and planes. Hitler's brutalized hordes are now advancing towards Stalingrad over mountains of their own dead bodies. All due respect, Commissar. I think I'm looking at physics being broken. The German planes are not moving. Count days! Do not count miles! Count only the number of Germans you have killed! Kill the German! This is your mother's prayer! Kill the German! This is the cry of your Russian earth! Do not waver! Do not let up! Kill! Death to the German invader! Jesus Christ, this is a guardsman setting if I ever saw one. I replace it with Emperor, and by God, Holy Terror is being protected. I'm all for this. I don't think that man had a magazine. Oh wait, no, we're Russian. We don't have ammo. We have rifle, and we have ammo. One man take rifle, second man take ammo. First man falls, second man takes rifle. Oh fuck, I get ammo. Well, shit. Hey, comrade, you're with me. Pay attention and follow my orders. Or I will shoot you myself. Okay, Sergeant Pushkov. Hopefully you're not a Sergeant Pushover. Okay, I'm gonna stop it with this bad Russian accent. It's hard to tell if I'm even doing it properly. Wait here. Stay close to me. Ow! Game, you told me- to be Ow, you're hurting me for being here, game. Why are you hurting me for doing what you told me to do? What kind of abusive relationship is this? Oh, she- <laughs> Hey, uh, Sergeant Pushkov. I don't suppose you have a sidearm I could take, do you? They, they just gave me ammo, Sergeant. I'd like a gun. I don't want to die with just ammo. The fascists are here in the refinery. We need to flush them out before we get to the park. Follow my lead. Wait here. I'm not the devil. You 
Yes, time to go. Give me that. Ooh, Mosin and Gaunt, yes, please. Um, I don't know what button that is, uh, Sergeant. Um, A? No. B? No, it's Crouch. X? No. RB? Oh, it's RB. Weird way, weird way to portray RB, but okay. Boy, what I get for a grenade right now, eh, Sergeant? Man, that flag runner really can make it. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not dead yet. Wow, okay. The Russians really didn't change their plan from here at Vorkuta, did they? Oh, Commissar, I do believe I see cowardice. I know what to do. Oh, Flagman, no! Did he make it? No, he's dead. Oh, well, shit. Lean by pulling R. Oh my god, there's lean mechanics? Picked up him before he repel assault an allied machine gun. Uh. Wait, where's the machine gun? Oh, there's the machine gun crew. I'm all for this. Let's see it, boys. Set her up. I think they look better on PlayStation 2 or on a tube TV. I'm not sure which. I have Hitler's buzz on. I'm coming for you. General Sniper! hunting that bastard all day. I'm sorry you lost your sergeant, comrade. We won't let his sacrifice go to waste. I've got a new job for you. The fascists are using the view from that bunker to call in artillery strikes all over the city. We can't take back Stalingrad unless we control that bunker. You lead the men up the hill. Start by taking out the machine guns in those pillboxes. Stick to the trenches. I'll keep you covered from here. That Nazi flag must fall. Okay. Uh, by the way, all future... Ooh, 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 he left it. Oh, I'm taking that. Yes, please. Ha <laughs> 71 rounds of pain. Also, yeah, Kotaku, um... Modern game development. Eat your fucking heart out. God, how can you make the music so good in a game? Like, I never hear anyone talk about Finest Hour, but it's, like, really good. <laughs> oh, this game's fun. I don't games could be fun. Remember, no Russian. And I believe that's a cleared bunker. So hit a flagpole and press the lower. Oh, yeah. I am the flag carrier now. I have no idea how any of this correlated to me becoming a spotter. My name is Tanya Pavlovna. We had little idea the Nazi invasion had pushed as far as our village until the night we awoke to the sound of tank tracks grinding in the distance. Tank shells sent my neighbors scurrying for cover. And in the chaos I was separated from my parents. The next day I was rescued by soldiers with the Red Army. I was 25. During my first skirmish our squad was cut down and I escaped into a collapsed building where I took a sniper rifle off the body of a fallen comrade. My father's voice guided my aim as I cut down my first four Germans with that rifle. My skill was reported to HQ and I was assigned as a sniper and sent to Stalingrad. I've been hunting Germans ever since. They took my family and my home, and I intend to take their lives. You've got a clear shot. What are you waiting for? 
An explosion. We need something to cover the sound of the rifle. And if I shoot enough of these Germans, they'll send a tank to come looking for us. Then we'll need to cover our sapper on the street so he can place a landmine in its path. This is it. Always try to shoot the officers first. Okay, Mel Gibson. Or you'll do it for me, okay. Let's relocate. Oh yeah, it's Ray, I'm telling you now, I'm not Sokolov. Wait, Sokolov? Huh. Must be a distant cousin. Okay, there you are. I don't know what the hell you think you're shooting at there, Hans. Come on. Come on. Poke that handsome face up. There you go. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Hey, you don't gotta tell me what to do. Okay, I've been I've been playing this for a long time. I'm the Necron, you're the Mechanicus. Shoot tank escorts. One. Two. Three. <laughs> uh, where are you running to, my friend? I got one more bullet with your name on it. Is that him? Nail. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, that's all of them taken care of. Now, what the hell is the sapper gonna do? Ooh. Okay. Start with shallow breaths. You'll get used to this smell. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I know how to breathe in bad smelling places. Yeah. Like, who the hell's going nuts on the violin? Oh, A! A's the melee. <laughs> okay. That's the last button I would have expected. And now I have different grenades. Even though they... They, they, they both kind of look the same. Oh! Oh, Private Krilenko can die. Well. Didn't know that could happen. But Sokolov, you live. You persevere. You are main character. Now, who the hell are you shooting at? If not me. Okay, there we go. Now, who are they shooting at? They were shooting at... Oh, yeah, some fellow Russians. Okay. Oh, who, who are you, friend? Private Zukov, Private Levonsky. That's a very polished down name. Bad news about your extended family, friend. They're gonna be on the wrong side of the wall. Arrived at Tractor Factory, good. Well, the mandatory sewer level's over now. At least I got it out of the way right up front. Good. You made it. We need the sniper right now. The Germans are preparing another assault on the factory. On the bottom, until the tank works. Uh-huh. Okay, do my best. It's been a while since I played. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Every shot counts, man. Oh, the Panzer Shreks. Who here has a Panzer Shrek? That guy? Yeah, that guy. Thank God it makes them slower. They're easier to identify. Okay, that's two down. Anyone's coming on the right? I don't see any. I mean, if they're all staying on the left lane, this is gonna be easy. Ooh, just We're just racking up bodies up here. Oh, great, now they're coming on the right side. I prepared for the left, but not the right. No, really, I'm not prepared for the right. That's dead center, though. Shit, where is he? Okay, I gotta move down a few lanes here. Bingo. Nailed him. You're not gun Are you a gunner? Oh, well, you're dead now, so who really cares? Alright, where? Oh, they're not on the left flank. Must be on the right flank. Actually, yep, yep, that's a pair. That should have been a collateral. Or that, also. What a goddamn drama queen. And back on the left I go. <laughs> oh, it's beginning to feel like that Bill Burr skip, but I got the gun already assembled. I don't see any Panzer Shreks. 
I feel kind of stupid, but I really don't see any. You keep saying Panzer Shrek, but I really, really don't see any. Oh my god, there he is. That's like the center, man. It's not left or right. That's just a glitch. Oh great, now they're rushing us. Now the Germans have the mass assault doctrine, Sokolov. Enemy tank, Panzer, what? What? I missed that bit. Oh, that Panzer. Yeah, not much 762 is going to do against that armor. <laughs> that the tank crew? Wow, could you make him look any more SS? One. A two. And a three. That's how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Mount the tank. Kirk, I'm a sniper, not a damn tank gunner. My name is Nikolai Badanov. The day after the Germans attacked the Soviet Union, I left my wife and newborn son in the care of my parents and joined the Red Army. Having been a mechanic in Leningrad for years, it was no surprise I was assigned to the 24th Tank Corps. I live for the day we grind Berlin beneath our tracks. Perhaps it's this aggressiveness that won me my own tank crew and assignment in Stalingrad. While my crew and I are like family, there's another comrade who I'll be tied to forever. Her name is Tanya Pavlovna, and she saved our skins as we escaped in the last surviving T-34 after an assault on an old factory near Volgograd. But our tank soon had engine trouble, and the smoke plume was giving away our position. So we found what looked to be a safe place to make repairs. Alexander, find some high ground and watch for the enemy. We'll do what we can, Nikolai. And Fyodor, let's get that tank fixed now. Yes, sir. Can I just say that I love these in-engine cutscenes? I mean, there's something so charming about that. I wish more games didn't. Oh, I'm a tank commander, but I'm not a tank. Well, that is... Sad. Oh, thank God not one of them dropped it on me. Ah, oh, shit. I'd rather. Ooh, hello. Hello, what is this beauty? Uh, Verundin, set it up. Set it up and mow him down, please. You got Tachanka's gun. God, I'd much rather have a rifle right now, but what do I have for a side? Uh, haha, <laughs> game, you started me on the wrong gun. Also, he's almost dead. I didn't realize, I thought that was tank health. I was keeping an eye out for Panzer Shreks. Uh, Tanya, dear, if you could uh, shoot. Also, I don't like this angle. It implies the tank's gonna be shooting at you. Oh, bye, Tanya. Oh, well, shucks. Oh, that's one more tanks. Ha! Ah. I think he's uh, a little stuck on the enemy tank. Oh, this is like enlisted kind of tank physics. Oh, and how do I, um... Well, I guess it's just main cannon, no MG. So I guess I don't really gotta worry about small arms fire. I am in a tank. Those, however, though, gotta worry about those Panzer Shreks. Also, I think my tank ally's gone now. Okay, everyone I love and know is dying in this game. Uh, Panzer Shrek, you're aiming the wrong way. <laughs> Thank you for participating, though. Lieutenant, 
The situation is grave. We've been holding back the German advance with the Katyusha rockets. However, our fire <laughs> radio has stopped working, and we are no longer receiving firing coordinates. Oh, it just looks so cool. Their last report said the fascists were massing armor and preparing to overrun this headquarters. The observers are in the train station tower on the other side of Red Square. Take a replacement radio and get it over to that tower before the Germans make their next move. Dismissed. Okay, that I can do. I'll pick up the radio. Make way. Wounded soldier coming. Set him down here. Wait, wounded soldier. Look who we found. Glad to see you made it, Nikolai. That tank destroyer nearly buried us alive. You'd better go, Lieutenant. We'll take care of her. Good luck, comrade. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, see, uh, this, this right here, no one had a problem with this. Battlefield 5, COD Vanguard, go fuck yourself. Oh, okay, geez. It's like Big Trouble in Little China. Both sides are coming out to fight. You know, considering the amount of hits I'm able to take, you could say I am a literal tank. Alright, what's ahead? What's holding this up? Oh, Panzer Shrek. That's a good reason to hold this up. I don't know about you guys, but... The Hearts of Iron 4 No Steps Back DLC sure does look good. Wow, okay, these are really little things. Can I nail one? Hold on. No? Okay, that's a shame. Hmm, I like this. But I prefer... Hmm, 46 rounds. Sorry, Tachanka. 71 beats it. Man, original COD door breaches hit different. Welcome, Lieutenant. Help yourself to what they need. <laughs> Is that a uh, offer, my low poly Russian sergeant? Yeah, I know. I could check the building too. I mean, uh, yeah, medical. Oh, hello. Cock blocked by German. That's a first. You'll find the observation post on the other side. Good luck. Thank you. The new radio. I'll take it from here, Lieutenant. That column of German armor is about to move. We need to relay firing coordinates now. New target, fire point Bravo. Angle 78 degrees, range 100 meters. Confirm, over. Confirm. Thank you, Lieutenant. This has been one hell of a day. There's more to the Russian campaign? I didn't know that. I thought it ended after this level. December 24, 1942. Christmas Eve. What we began at Stalingrad, we were to finish as part of Operation Little Saturn on a remote airfield near the small village of Tatsinskaya. Our assignment was to approach the airfield from the north via the River Don cutting off and encircling the stranded German forces Hitler had forbidden to retreat. There at Tatsinskaya, we would surprise the airfield, destroying as many aircraft as we could, cutting off the resupplying of Nazis in the Stalingrad pocket. This was an assignment I was going to enjoy. But as we were about to spring our attack, the Germans got word we were there and launched a frantic evacuation. We may have missed yelling surprise, but there was still plenty of party to be had. Your orders are to take control of the enemy airfield near Tatsinska to prevent them from resupplying the 6th Army at Stalingrad. This is a critical mission, comrades. Best of luck. Raven, this is platoon leader. What is your status, over? Platoon leader, Raven here. Our trucks are in position. We need 10 minutes to set up the rockets. Over. Hold positions until... Stuka! Stuka! Incoming! We have been spotted! Raven, we cannot wait! Get your rockets in position now! We will take care of those bombers! <laughs> I... Okay, Chief, I don't know what we're going to do. We're a tank crew, but I guess we'll do something about them. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
What? Oh, I thought I could shoot him out of the sky. Maybe I can. Hold on. Oh, I can. Hold on, I can hit him. Ha! Ah, yes, you can light them up. My god, where the hell are all these Stukas coming from? I don't think the whole German army has this many Stukas. Yes, I nailed one with the main gun. And the Stukas are now retreating from the tanks. Advanced Wars has lied to me. Actually, fun fact that, uh... It actually took someone pointed out, but we almost armored our planes that survived and came back. It took someone pointing out that maybe we should armor them where they weren't hit. Because these ones come home when they're shot. The ones that are shot in these other locations don't come back. We should armor those spots. Just a fun little history fact. I forgot who did it, but um... Yeah, that was a real thing. That was an actual discussion someone had. Oh! Oh! Okay, I didn't know I could do this. Huh. Interesting. I, I don't like this. I, unless you give me a sword so you can drive me close so I can hit him. I don't like this. Vasily! Why you do this to me, Vasily? Why can't you learn to drive tank like Brother Dimitri? Vasily, always a family disappointment. Oh! Oh ho ho! Mom, get the camera! <laughs> oh, what a shot. I didn't even think it would do anything. I didn't think they'd program it to be capable of being shot. You know, it's weird for a Call of Duty game. The hip fire is surprisingly solid. I mean, it's actually accurate. It feels like it's not so much from the hip, and more you have it shouldered, and then ADS as well. You know, you're actually looking down the iron sights. You know, how it uh, probably should be. Instead of saying, this is from the hip. Hey, let him have it, Belinky. Let him have it. Give him the full Belinky experience. Look, this will certainly make some heads turn. Let's get back to headquarters. Nice bonfire you lit up today, comrades. That should keep us warm most of the winter. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.